Hello guys and welcome back to a new video, the new Hyundai Ioniq plug-in hybrid. It's right here with me, 2019 model uh, facelift or whatever you want to call it. Today I have it right here with me and I will review it for you. I will show you the interior, the exterior and every single detail. Again, a great surprise about this car are it's the interior. The interior, we have a white interior and I love it. I, I see some new feature that I wish to see more and more on the car today. And this car have it, and I will tell you later when we go in the interior of the car. But for the moment, let's do the exterior. We have new LED lamps, new LED lamps uh, design also in the front, in the back. Also the car shape, it's it's much more like the previous model, but it has some some little change here and there. That I think uh, that I think they make the car look much much better. For example, these new beautiful um, rims, aerodynamic rims, they look fantastic. And you can see we have Michelin rims, 16 inch rims. Uh, they are great for uh, aerodynamic and great for consumption. And I think, in my opinion, they look much better than the previous Ionic. Uh, this new Hyundai Ioniq look much better. Even the handles, uh, they feel much more greater quality. Uh, it's fantastic and also I love this chrome design insertion right here. It's pretty awesome the way they insert and uh, it look nice. I like this gray plastic down here. Look gorgeous uh, on the car and even the down part plastic here is to protect uh, the car paint in time. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So uh anyway the the, the, the the mirrors are almost the same they are big and nice and great visibility also the blind spot there in the mirror also blinkers are led you will see it also a little bit later um then here we have the blue drive uh logo uh, that tell you immediately that this car it's electric or plug-in um depend how you want to call it in the front we have again the new design full full led lamps uh daylight and also um uh for the high beam and low beam are also led only the blinkers is not led i will show you a little bit later but even down here those fog lamps uh they are led and uh, they look much much better in my opinion they look super nice also four parking sensors in the front four parking sensors in the back the front grille look nice and pretty interesting and the grille here we have some glossy plastic there and the, the freaking cool part is that the the system of the new uh vents here they are closed right now you can see when it's hot the engine is very warm they open that the air come inside to cool down the engine uh, behind the logo there we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and the new design of the of the front uh, it's quite nice in my opinion it's pretty nice uh, and pretty nice new feature there also the camera right there to read the lane assist and read the traffic speed limit signs uh, and yeah nice shape they keep the same shape because it has a fantastic coefficient one of the best drag coefficient on the market here we have the uh, charging port for plug-in battery uh, also an LED light there for the night it's perfect it's simple to use and um, yeah uh, pretty awesome now um, here is the handle of course we have keyless entrance in the car you just have to have the key with you and then uh, the car will lock and unlock here we have an LED to illuminate the floor in the night so it's pretty helpful uh, just a little bit of blink from the interior we will go in the interior uh, a little bit later and i will show you it's it's amazing amazing interior i was blow my mind about this interior also led on the blinkers you can also see it for yourself right here so they look super nice but in the front we don't have LED. I don't know why they don't put LED also on the front blinkers. And let's go in the back. And in the back, we have the same normal wall light 
blinkers, no LED, and also I don't understand why they don't put LED. Um, it was better to have full LED in the front and the back, but the light is quite strong and it's quite good, so no complaining at all. I like this light here, brake light is there, The, the again the glass. The downer part of the glass, it's right here. We have a back camera, where is the Ionic, Ionic uh, logo, plug-in, uh, writing on the right side, and also here the, the, the design of the bumper. It's not much different from the previous model. Here we have the reverse LED light, normal bulb light for the number plate, and no exhaust pipe right here in the back four parking sensors and the exhaust pipe it's under the car there you can see it so they try to make the car um, as slow as possible with the exhaust pipe so uh, to make it much more eco-friendly if i can say like that also the car have a so panoramic roof there i will show you in a moment let me close these blinkers and let me go in the back uh, to show you the trunk so here you open the trunk um, and then we don't have automatic lift gate, it's just a normal lift gate. The huge trunk, I always like this trunk uh, of the Hyundai Ionic, even uh, on the older model, the trunk is quite big and very spacious. Here in the left side we have a speaker, so we have great, great sound inside this car, also on light there, here you can even open this part um, and there you can see is the battery right there so in case you wonder what it's there so here we have like 50 centimeter deepness so it's not a flat floor so you have to go a little bit down to put your stuff here we have a cable for charging cable this will come with the car when you buy the car this cable will come uh, with the car so no problem at all here we have the protection for the trunk up here uh, and then under the floor we have a storage space where you can put your cable or your stuff so it's quite quite cool space a lot of space in this car uh, it's quite awesome I like it I like uh, the space in this car it's really big entrance uh, and you can carry many stuff I will fold down the seats because I want to show you the rest of the car so the quality of the doors are also awesome uh, and uh, let's go inside something that I want to show you it's the white interior the white interior on the doors the big windows here you can see the car have big windows uh, and um, here on the doors we have this plastic in white so it's quite interesting as if you see my older videos I tell you I wish the car make the plastic in other colors not all the plastic always black they have to do it white blue black like we see in the mercedes a class if you see my other videos in the a class it's it's the plastic are blue everywhere and the car look fantastic it's look great and even this new hyundai ionic uh hybrid plug-in it's fantastic this white make the car look perfect very well hyundai love the windows uh, love the big entrance in the car and those white plastic in the back of the door. It's fantastic. Uh, make the car look much more premium and much more nicer. Uh, this is my opinion. Also at the entrance in the car right here we have leather, white with black combination. The seats from Hyundai are always, always the best and great seats. I love those seats. Um, I have to tell you, I sit on them, I drive a lot of Hyundai's and they are fantastic uh, white in the middle uh, you have holes here because we have a uh, heated seat in the back in the front back of the front seat we have plastic and some storage space to vents here in the middle uh, the vents from Hyundai feel very nice as you touch it uh, when you touch it when you uh, they feel nice also I like in the middle there it's like electric cars almost no step so you can stay in the middle without any problem here up we have an led light an led light uh, and the roof it's in white look very nice uh, i like white roof in the cars make the cars look much much fancier and nicer here we have the center 
console um, we took up holders leather as well so now let's fold down the seats to see how much space we have here in the back so um, let me go on the other side to try to fold the seat down but first time let's put the seat in normal position because those seats here they are way way too much in the back so I have to put it I want to put it in normal position we have manually adjustable seats here on the car on the passenger side on the driver's side uh, we have electric um, adjustable seats so I will show you in the moment so you can adjust the seats to the driver uh, electrically from here so uh, quite awesome let's make let's make it on my on my driving position so just like that now it's perfect okay I will leave it like that so as you see how much space is in the back because um, yeah so so it's so much better when I put it in my driving position and then uh, check out the back space so now uh, folding back the seat now you can see that you still have a space behind the front seats you can put some stuff there when you carry many items so that's a good thing also let me pull up the headrest to make the seats all the way straight so right now you have a flat floor almost flat floor if I can say like that it's a very big flat floor there so you can put many things in my opinion also interesting stuff is that they put this vent here on the left side I don't know sure what is this it's a vent or not sure what is this guys if you know what is this here please write me in the comment I'm really curious to know what what is this uh, I think it's vent but I'm not sure about that so if it was a vent it's, it's quite a cool idea but I don't know how, how they put it here in the back anyway anyway write me if you know what is that there so big trunk I'm really happy I'm really happy with the with the trunk it look gorgeous it's really big trunk there so you can see for yourself almost flat floor carry long items even sleeping here in the car if you want you can do it without any problem because it's a long car so I like this glass that you can't even see it you don't even notice it's a glass there uh, because it's, it's so good tinted but from the interior side you can see outside very easy but from outside inside you cannot see it so easy so it's pretty great the way they do that tinting glass there uh, they do a great job and in my opinion um, they are they are fantastic uh, the guys from Hyundai they are gorgeous love the interior love the white uh, now the space on my legs it's almost big enough so you can see here huge space on my legs no complaining I can stretch a little bit by the, the, the legs under the front seat and you can see for yourself I have good good space here even on my head I have like four three two three three four four fingers there I think yes four fingers on my head no problem with the space I can go a little bit in the front and I have a perfect position here the visibility on the windows it's quite good uh, I like the way they shape the windows uh, one of the best windows in the back in this class with sedan cars uh, you have fantastic visibility and I like the way they make the window it's, it's quite nice great job Hyundai I like this car no wonder why they keep this shape of the car of the old Hyundai Ioniq because the shape of the car it's, it's gorgeous it's perfect shape uh, you don't need other shape you have a lot of space in the interior you have the best uh, aerodynamic coefficient and you still have plenty of space in the car even here in the middle I can stay with my legs together and it's quite awesome um, to see how much space I still have and we, we don't have to forget that Hyundai offers seven years warranty for their car so it's it's fucking crazy to have so much warranty on the car uh, even here in the middle a lot of space maybe three four fingers there over my head in the left in the right plenty of space for three people so I'm quite wondering how they do this great job with great comfort amazing seats beautiful design also 
uh, a lot of cargo space in the back great 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 technology and comfort and beautiful design and also nice aerodynamic even the dashboard look great in my opinion look very nice i i wish i can buy this car but if this car electric ionic will come with 500 over 500 kilometer range i will definitely buy this car 100 percent here i have a great visibility on the window in the front but this time in the front we don't have plastic all over the, the door in the front are rubber so it's kind of white rubber even down here it's pretty cool on the back back doors we have plastic white but here we have rubber all this white uh material here on the doors it's it's rubber uh soft material even down here only here we have plastic on this this part but all over the upper part it's it's rubber and soft material very good quality very nice design i wish they make also this part here infinity speaker great great sound i wish they make the downer part also in white or something like that the plastic to be other color that would be pretty interesting uh, i wish i can see that so uh ionic logo uh, right here some aluminium and then electric adjustable seats uh, pretty simple to adjust the seat uh, from here you see it before aluminium pedals that come extra also uh, the car have great price in my opinion with all that futuristic uh, safety things and all that uh, great things that have on it and with great consumption uh, the car have a great per price the buttons there for lane assist and for the blind spot as well uh, the same white nice design on the dashboard the vents feel great as you touch it great quality and also nice design i like them very much the way they design the dashboard it's gorgeous also up here nice soft material you can see the stitches also there uh, great 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 design great job I like this white um, dashboard also the seats are great same white with black combination of leather side support uh, they are great for long trips and the quality of the materials it's awesome also they are soft you can drive it for long trips without any problem uh, at all even in the middle there we have a kind of center armrest uh, it's pretty great so soft and nice uh, in white I like this uh, and then down here we have a USB port and some storage space where you can put your stuff so um, pretty awesome now other than that in the front uh, we have this uh, for smoking but you can take it out then a cup holder and some space in the right side there for your tablet or wherever you want to put there then we have this stick for automatic gearbox so um, this is automatic uh, stick for the gearbox here we have the ventilated seat also heated seat and heated steering wheel and uh, electric handbrake auto hold uh, 300 no 300 i think the cameras there and also the parking sensors uh, this is the stick for automatic gearbox but the automatic on the electric car doesn't have any stick uh, check out my other videos if you want to see the new ionic um, electric 2019 or 2020 model i have it on my channels as well uh, a review with it so we have also ambient light blue light here on the dashboard uh, they look nice in the night and also uh, i like the way they customize this thing here uh, in the middle so now the dashboard is beautiful as i told you i like it i don't know why you have to be in the car when you are in the car it looks fantastic even here we have soft material all over the dashboard this white dashboard it's gorgeous it has soft material and very nice and a head-up display as well here in the front so it's pretty awesome uh, to have so much technology on the car and the steering wheel is also great uh, not so much different not so much change in terms of the steering wheel 
but they change for example here this design of the vents and it's looking nice even down part it's soft down here we, we have the glow box that's pretty okay uh, not huge but pretty good some plastic down there and then uh, the visibility on the windows uh, are very good very good visibility for the shape of the car the visibility is it's one of the best you can see for yourself uh, even though the car have a back camera so uh, we don't have to complain at all here we have a glass support very useful at least for me LED light then here we have the mirror with the light that you can open and close without any problem also good quality on the roof there and um, the mirror is also nice and big and you have good visibility in the mirror there also up there we have the camera and all that sensors uh, and then here we have the big change the new uh, display multimedia system display from Hyundai uh, you will see it a little bit later at the end of this video I will show you some some more things about it and also from the climatic system then uh, the steering wheel it's nice the visibility from the driver position it's very good uh, also in the front we have a new cockpit i will show you as well in a moment uh, all the information about the cockpit so um well, I think this is the start stop button so i think i think this car doesn't have a head-up display i think i was wrong it's just the design of the of the cockpit there you can see the hole that you can see it through the through the cockpit uh, over there so it doesn't have any head-up display anyway the steering wheel is very nice it has a nice shape and the buttons are also cool and easy to use uh, like the previous models not so big changes uh, from this model but it, they are they are practical they don't have to change something that it's almost perfect and very easy to use start stop button right there here in the front we have the full digital display that you can see it in the moment uh, in a few minutes and here we have the new multimedia system integrated in this black glossy plastic right there so also this i will show you a little bit later uh, first time i want to show you the engine and then i will show you the cockpit as well so um, let's go to the engine bay right here and open this it's very simple to open it uh, but the problem is that it's not automatic you have to hold it with your hand so it's a little bit heavier uh, this is the engine hybrid engine uh, from hyundai also you can see there the connection from the electric motor plug-in hybrid uh, ionic for the first time it's one of the one of the best beautiful uh, great consumption hybrid out there on the market so it's pretty nice car good what do you think guys about the, the model uh, you have question please write me in the comment don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet to my channel I have great great cars that come next on my channel uh, a lot of new cars a lot of new reviews uh, almost every day so uh, by the way don't forget to uh, like it and share it with your friend. Here a few information about the car. 1.6 JDE Vertex engine, 48,000, 49,000 francs, same in dollar, around 45,000 euro. Also, you can see 141 horsepower. Here are some information. You can pause the video and read it if you are interested in all that info. And then here you can see 1626 kilogram euro 6 consumption 1.1 liter plus 10 kilowatts this is a little bit complicated when you have an electric or when you have a hybrid car it's a little bit complicated to calculate that because it's not just one liter it's one liter plus 10 kilowatts so anyway now we are inside the electric hyundai ionic 2019 the new one and now I will show you here the dashboard and the button and the new dashboard you can see it right here in front 
uh, you can see the colors are great the resolution is it's perfect also uh, you have plenty of information right there on the display even the buttons with the blue here uh, in the background is the same as on the Hyundai Ionic hybrid so uh, there is here is the button where you can change and you can customize uh, the display right there in front of you so um, it's very simple to use it you can see it just press the button and change the, the different settings uh, you can see the speed limit here you have the adaptive cruise control and all that stuff you can go to navigation for example to have it right there the information about the navigation um, also uh, regenerate uh, brake and all that stuff it's also in the hybrid you can adjust the steering wheel manually also uh, you have clappers for changing the gear uh, if you want to change it manually so on the electric car as well up here i already show you the led lights sos button and uh, the glass support but i have to show you again uh, and also here we have the mirror with the light up there so pretty useful uh, as well so anyway here is the the panoramic roof I think you already know it you already see it before so we have this time all over the car LED lights that's pretty good thing and I like this ambient light in blue soft material the vents here are in blue in this electric car they change a little bit the color and then uh, the glow box you already see it before not so big not so small and then the middle part that we are interested here is the armrest it's a little bit different on the electric car with the new USB a little bit different from the, the hybrid version and then also we have here two cup holders we have a lot of buttons right here, electric handbrake, ventilated seat, heated seats, two cup holders, uh, also a lot of space down here, uh, and the buttons for the cameras and for the sensors, um, pretty awesome, heated steering wheel as well, auto hold, driving modes, economic, sport, normal, and here we have this uh, gear shifter in electric car, we have this gear shifter with the buttons so this is only in the electric car if you ask me the other normal Hyundai Ionic have a stick here in the middle but the electric car have a big space where you can put your stuff so I know many of you ask me why some Hyundai Ionic have a stick why some have doesn't have so the car the Hyundai Ionic without stick it's the electric version here we have the climatic system it look very nice I like the way they make the climatic system and the multimedia system and the background colors this blue look very nice in my opinion also it's very easy to use we have like a touch screen this time so they add this kind of a touch screen on the on the climatic system it's very responsive as you put the finger there so no complaining at all quite interesting that they they chose to go like that with this thing uh, I think in my opinion this uh, this screen it's much bigger and much better than the previous version uh, the colors are great the software is much better and the hardware behind this cockpit and behind this uh, screen right here it's, it's perfectly positioned so you have a very good visibility also you have a lot of information about the car the weather uh, and all that things function and all that stuff I don't want to go into detail now I will make a full review about this multimedia system you can connect it to the internet as well it has great colors you can customize in different ways in different modes you can put it the way you want it also you can see here for example the battery how much the battery is charging percent and uh, where you can go with the battery navigation it's also great and great colors um, look fantastic I like it I like the new navigation uh, now I think the car is 20% better than the previous Hyundai Ionic if they will change the battery make better bigger battery <laughs> the car will be perfectly uh, a lot of improvement a lot of improvement and uh, 
in my opinion uh, the car looks fantastic and look how, how here we have the button the shortcut buttons and they are very easy to use anyway guys i hope you enjoy my review with new hyundai ionic plug-in hybrid 2019 model or 2020 model please subscribe to my channel if you want to see the newest this video on the market also thank you very much for watching like it share it and see you in the next video so see you soon guys